Hi haters, I'm Marissa and we're back again for another Daily Fix. And boy did we get a blockbuster matchup. The Chicago Sky versus the Indiana Fever. The fans popped out and tuned in with over 2.3 million viewers. Oh, and by the way, nothing happened to Caitlin Clark. She was not harmed in any way. I just had to put that disclaimer out there. Now she balled out and had a game. She had 17 points and 13 assists. Wow, shooting 5 of 11 from the field. That's crazy. 13 assists. She was dishing them out. And Angel Reese went off with her eighth consecutive double-double. Sheesh. She had 25 points and 16 rebounds. Holy cow. She was working. And shot 8 from 12 from the field. She barely even missed. And Kelsey Mitchell added 24 points. And Aaliyah Boston added 18 for the Indiana Fever. And then Kennedy Carter added 23 points for the Chicago Sky. But the new rivalry we didn't know we needed was Nalissa Smith versus Angel Reese. Boy, were they talking back and forth. I just loved every minute of it. <laughs> now here they go at the line, chirping back and forth. And here comes Angel Reese with a big time rebound, put back and one. Look at that little shimmy, shoulder shake on him. And here she goes again, catches it in between defenders, falling over everybody on the baseline, but, but manages to put the ball in the basket on the fast break. And here comes Alyssa Smith answering back down and does a you too little. The disrespect continues. And you know Angel had a response, so you know she said something right back. Now what could they possibly be talking about? <laughs> Ooh, that looks like a bad word. This game was just so exciting. But anywho, Angel rallied herself and her team back to a big time victory. She literally told herself, I'm not losing three times to Caitlin Clark. Ain't no way. And Angel had this to say after the game. How do you find this in you each and every time to be such a winner? I'm a dog. You can't teach that. I'm going to go out and do whatever it takes to win. And every single night, my teammates rely on my energy. So being able to continue the energy, even if we're down, even if we're up, that's what I, that's what I do. Period. Now it appeared Nalissa lost this battle, but does this game put Angel Reese ahead of Caitlin Clark or at the same neck and neck for Rookie of the Year? I'd like to know what you think, but here's Shanae's take about the Rookie of the Year race. The WNBA Rookie of the Year race is starting to heat up, so let me tell you about these leading candidates and how they're trying to earn all of our votes, starting with the uh, Chi-Town Barbie, Angel Reese. This was her eighth consecutive game with a double-double, tied for the second longest streak in WNBA history. What she is doing doing y'all is in the company of Candace Parker and Sylvia Fowles and again speaking of aggressive she doesn't care if she gets blocked she keeps playing but watch this she is tremendous as an offensive rebounder she constantly fights for position snatch that go through finish and one son. Caitlin Clark has brought her signature three to the W, but that's not it. She is the first rookie in WNBA history with 10 assists and five three-pointers in a game. So watch this, she has the ball, but first and foremost, she's great at passing. Look, she sees the play even though she's ahead of it. All eyes are attracted to her as a rookie. She finds Aaliyah Boston. But look, there are double screens here. Katie Lou is a freaking shooter and she's still just turning around to give her a shot. That's 33 feet. That is wild. People aren't looking at the basket, they're looking for Caitlin. 30 three feet away. This rookie matchup has been box office. I mean, straight up. These ladies are scoring and dominating in different ways. This was the first matchup where truly Malika. I saw Caitlyn fans. I saw Angel fans. They both said, damn, respect. I mean, this game was spicy. Had me locked all the way into the TV. So a round of applause to all the ladies for taking it there for us viewers. Now on to other news. Flaget's album is dropping in three days. She's been promoting it heavy on social media. So be on the lookout. And Glorilla just dropped an anthem, y'all. And it goes hard. A must add to the playlist. TGIF is what it's called. Thank Glow, it's Friday. But keep supporting women's sports and I'll be back again for another Daily Fix.